All right. Hey guys, so Tarantula Tuesday this week. Um, we're going to cover the difference between New World and Old World Tarantulas. So this is a uh, Gramostala Pulcrepes, Chaco Goldney. This is actually, her name is Nacho. And, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get the light better and the focus. Don't mind the keyboard. I'm, I still have to figure, figure out a, uh, a good area for filming. Anyway, so, New World Tarantulas is anything from North America, Central America, and South America. Old World Tarantulas is the rest of the world. New World Tarantulas, um, they have a milder venom. It's comparatively, compared to that of like a bee sting. Let's see if I can get her to move down and spread out a little bit for you. Just gentle. So, it's compared of that to a bee sting. Uh, usually there's no severe medical emergencies or issues with a bite from a New World Tarantula, unless you're allergic to bees or their venom. Um, you know, the particular spider that bites you. Their main defense is the, uh, you can see, like on her abdomen there, or her, uh, her butt, they have hairs. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here and get it to focus. Yeah. Those hairs on the butt there, they will use their back legs and kick the hairs off. Um, sometimes you can see them, you know, kick their hairs off like that. And those hairs will cause itching, um, sometimes redness and swelling a little bit. They're kind of barbed. I'll see if I can find a uh, picture, like an, a, a picture of them in like a microscope. And uh, they're, they're irritating, basically. And that tends to be the defense mechanism of a New World Tarantula. Most, most New World Tarantulas are more easygoing, slower to defensive. N well, not really. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Every animal's different. Like, Nacho here has never kicked hairs at me. She'll come out, climb on my hand, you know, hang out. I say she, I have no idea if it's male or female. I just go with the generic she. Um, let's see. I have mostly New World Tarantulas at the moment. But, like, my uh, Pumpkin Patch Tarantula, she is fast. Uh, my Red Rump is pretty... She's kicked hairs at me before. My uh, Avic, my A Avic pink toe is quick. That's why I call her Skitters. Um, oh, there she goes. She's moving a little bit. So now, Old World. Um, you're talking like Africa, Asia. I think, I think most of the Old World species are from like Africa and Asia. I don't know if there's many like Australian... Or European tarantulas, but I'm still new to this. So here is my Heterosconda maculata, Togo star pursed. But we're probably not going to see her. I'm not going to open the lid. Oh, yeah, there she is. She, uh, webbed up pretty well in here. Oh, 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 where are you going? Where are you go? There you go. Let's see. Now, old world tarantulas, they don't have irritating hairs. I mean, you can see like she's got some hair on her body, but she doesn't kick those. What she has is a medically significant venom, <clears throat> meaning it will cause some severe pain, severe discomfort, swelling, um, I don't think there's been any cases of it killing a human. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't looked that up. But it, it hurts. You don't want to get nailed by a old world tarantula. They're fast, and they're usually pretty defensive. 
they'll throw a threat posture. I'll uh, put a picture of a threat posture up. Um, they will run. They will bite sometimes. Um, I was looking at getting a feather leg tarantula, and then I read more about them. I read that... Oh, oh she looked like she was coming out for a second. Nope. Um, it looks like... They're so fast, they look like they almost teleport. And they tend to bite first and ask questions later. Like, I read about one guy who was just cleaning an enclosure, and it just... Like, ran up his arm, bit him, and then ran away. And he said he was in pain for something like 15 hours. Um, that being said, I have seen people free-handling more relaxed old worlds. I would never do it. Um, this is currently my only old world tarantula. However, I am getting another quite popular in the tarantula world, old world tarantula, next weekend from a friend of mine. There will be a video on that for Tarantula Tuesday next week. Um, and then later this month, I have... I'm going to be vague because I want to keep these surprises. So I found one for sale that I've always I've wanted since I got into the hobby. It's very difficult to find popular um, New World Tarantula. You guys probably know what it is just by me saying that it's hard to find. I found a pre-sale. And in order to qualify for first dibs on the pre-sale, I ordered a different tarantula. Uh, at least le less expensive one. So that was one tarantula. Then I ordered the one that I really want. That qualified me to get another one for free. Then next weekend I talked to the, the uh, company. I'm going to be buying another one of the tarantulas I really wanted and another species that I've wanted. So I'm going to be having five tarantulas coming in later this month, four species I don't have, and then the one that I'm getting from my friend. So five new species, only one of which is Old World. Um, and then later on my list I have a P. Metallica I want to get. That's an Old World. Beautiful, beautiful spider. But yeah, that's the main difference between Old World and New World. Um, I think one of my next videos coming up will be about handling tarantulas and my stance on it. Um, now, personally, and most people agree, if you're going to get a tarantula, well, first off, always do your research. Second, start with something New World. Mild, calm. Um... Be Hammer Eye, he previously be Smithy, Mexican Stripe Knee, uh, B Vegans, G Polkra Pays, G Polkra if you can find one, um, Euthalus Species Red, which is actually a dwarf tarantula. They only top off at about three inches and they're slow growing, but she's got a cricket in her water dish. I gotta get that out of there. It's dead. She is a sweetheart. This is my favorite spider out of my collection so far. She is very inquisitive, just an all-around beautiful little little spider. It's going to take a long time for her to grow. She hasn't even molted, and they're well known for, you know, just not eating very well. But yeah, get something chill, get something relaxed, get something where if it, you know, if it if you decide to handle it, it's not going to be a problem. <clears throat> Old World are for when you get more into the hobby and you're more advanced. You've learned some things. You know how to transfer your tarantulas to their new cages without uh, the possibility of them getting out. And just be, be aware, you know. Old World tarantulas are usually very fast and very defensive. And uh, medically significant when it comes to biting. So, I'm reaching my time limit on my phone video's capabilities, and I think I've rambled enough. Uh, but that's the main difference between Old World and New World. So, 
be smart when you're making your selection. As always, thanks for, wa thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. More to come. Out.